we now learn how to simplify fractions. And we're going to do that with two examples. So let's go right ahead. The first example will be to simplify 12 over 20. Now the way we do this is in two steps. The first thing we need to do is to find the highest common factor, also known as greatest common divisor, of the numerator and the denominator. So in that case, in this case I should say, the highest common factor of 12 and 20, which I'll write as HCF of 12 and 20. So that's the first thing we have to find. And to find the highest common factor, the easiest way really is just to list all the factors of both 12 and 20. So let's go ahead and do that. The factors of 12, I'll just write factors of 12, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 20, let's write that down, factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now, all we have to do to find the highest common factor of those two numbers is look for the largest number which both lists have in common. And looking at these two lists, it doesn't take us too long to see that the largest number these two lists have in common is 4, which I'm circling now. And on top of that, we can go ahead and say that 12 equals to 4 times 3. And we can also say that 20 equals to 4 times 5. And that's our first step done. Now, if you're unfamiliar with highest common factors and how to find them, well, either this helps, and if it doesn't, just check back on our website, radfordmathematics.com. We show a whole section on how to find it. Now, back to this question. Our step two is to simplify the fraction. And we do this by cancelling, and I should say cancelling out, the highest common factor. So, let's see how that's done. Using the previous result, and in particular using these two results we wrote here, 12 equals to 4 times 3 and 20 equals to 4 times 5, we can rewrite this fraction as follows. We can state that this equals to 4 times 3 over 4 times 5. And now we cancel out the highest common factor. And we do this quite simply by crossing out the 4 at the top and crossing out the 4 at the bottom. Now that we've done that, we can rewrite this as 3 over 5. And we're done. We've just simplified this fraction, 12 over 20, using the highest common factor of 12 and 20. And the result is 3 over 5. Let's look at one more example. Let's simplify 14 over 35. Well, once again, we follow our two-step method. And our first step, remember, was to find the highest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, that's the highest common factor of 14 and 35. And again, the easiest way to do this is to find all the factors of 14 to find all the factors of 35, and to look for the biggest factor they have in common. So let's do that. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. On the other hand, the factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. Now, looking at both of these lists of factors, we quickly see that the largest factor both have in common is 7, which I'm circling now. And we can go one step further and state that 14 equals to 7 times 2 and 35 equals to 7 times 5. Now that we've done that, we move on to the second step, step 2. And we simplify by cancelling out, and I'll just write cancelling out, the highest common factor. So let's go ahead and do that. 
back to our fraction, we can write 14 over 35 as 7 times 2 over 7 times 5. We now cancel out the highest common factor at both the top and the bottom, and that leaves us with 2 over 5. And we're done. We've just simplified this fraction. So once more, using the highest common factor, we've managed to simplify the fraction 14 over 35 to the fraction which is its equivalent fraction in its simplest form, which is 2 over 5. There you go. I really hope that helps. If you're watching this on the website, make sure to work through the exercises directly below this video. Remember, you'll have answer keys as well as detailed answers there. If you're watching it on YouTube, make sure to check out the website radfordmathematics.com for plenty more tutorials, formula, and exercises. I really hope that helps.